hey there welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to create a on click image and text changer with the help of javascript so let's start creating it as you can see i'm in my html file now let's link our bootstrap link so as you can see i have linked my bootstrap cdn for creating a button with the help of bootstrap the link will be provided in the description for the bootstrap for cdn now let's come inside our body tag we'll be creating a div within a class name of the main container all right inside they will be creating a div within a class name of box all right now inside this box container we'll be saying them to create a div within a class name of column dash md dash three all right and after that, we'll be creating a div within a class name of column dash six. All right. Inside this column six, we'll be having our heading. Okay. We'll be giving our heading a message ID. Now, inside this h1 tag, let's write our heading. So my heading will be hi code programmer. All right. And after the h1 tag, let's add our image. So we'll be having an image tag. We'll be giving it an ID of my image. All right, so let's add a source attribute up here. Now we'll be going inside the image folder and we are having background.jpg image. All right, then after this div, the box div is closed. We'll be creating a div within a class name of column-md-3, column three. All right. Perfect. Now, after the both divs are closed, let's create our button. So we'll be saying div class. We'll be giving it class of button. All right. Now inside this div, let's add a button tag. We'll be giving it a class that will be button dash button dash warning. And inside this button tag, let's add a on click function. When this button is clicked, show the before image semicolon. And we'll be removing this button close from up from here and we'll be adding after the on click function. Now let's name our button. Our we'll be naming our button that will be for the before image. Now same thing will be copying up from here and we'll be pasting it after this button. Now this will be button not warning it will be success all right and when it's click show the after image so let's add after perfect and we'll be changing our button name to after perfect now let's link our script file that means our javascript file also script let's add source that will be script.js perfect let's save it let's come to our google chrome file and now let's reload it and we can see our heading up here high code programmer and our background image so let's add some styling to it so now we'll be coming to our css file all right now i'll be selecting my image tag i'll be giving up my image and height of 500 pixel and the width of 450 pixel perfect four hundred and fifty pixel and this will be five hundred pixel perfect now we'll be selecting our heading tag that is an h1 tag and we'll be giving it a color so i'll be giving it a color that's my favorite that is an aqua marine perfect semicolon and let's add a margin from top that is gonna be 20 pixel semicolon now let's add a font family for my heading that will be my best one that is sans serif now let's style our button only we'll be giving it a margin from left that will be 45 percentage add semicolon at the end save it come to our google chrome file let's reload it 
and now you can see the difference this is our heading this is our image and this is our button this is before button and this is our after button all right so now let's come to our script dot javascript file now what we need to do is when the user will be clicking on this after button the image and the text should be changed the text should will be changed to by code programmer and the image will be changed to our second background image so let's work on our javascript file so in javascript i'll be writing a function i'll be naming that function that will be before when the as you can see as you saw up here when this button is clicked when this button is clicked call the before function all right so let's add our function that is before now let's say in document dot get select element by id parenthesis with a single quote what was the id for my image that was my image then let's add a source that means we'll be adding our second image all right so now image slash inside this folder there is an image known as background 2.jpeg that's perfect let's add a semicolon after that and after that we are going to be saying them document dot get element by id parenthesis our message that means our headings id we'll be selecting it and dot inner html will be changing it okay so when the user will be clicking on the before button the id should be same that is high code programmer when the user will be clicking on the after button the id will be changed to by code programmer so up here we'll be writing the same thing up here that will be high code programmer that's perfect add semicolon at the end perfect now we'll be same thing we'll be doing it again so we'll be copying this function and we'll be pasting it second time up here and we'll be changing our function name that will be after all right now this is our image id now let's change the image so it will be background 3.jpg so let's see our image is changed perfect so now document dot get element by id the message message should be changed to by called programmer all right that's perfect let's save it let's come to our google chrome file let's reload our page now when i'll be clicking on the after button it's not changing its image we are getting some issues with the image as you can see the text is been changed but we can't see our image so let's come to our desktop and we'll be checking our image name that is background oh sorry not background 3 it's background dot background 2 dot jpg so we'll be coming back to our javascript file up here and we'll be changing the image to background 2 and this one to background 1 save it come back to google chrome file reload your page now you can see up here there's a text written up here that is high code programmer and this is our background image so when the user will be clicking on the after button the image and the text will be changed as you can see the image and the text is changed that is by code programmer and our image is changed when the user will be clicking up before button it will be coming to the before image so it's not coming to our before image so we are getting some issues that is it's an jpg image let's reload it perfect so this is our before image high code programmer and this is an our after image that is by code programmer so this was our tutorial video how to change the image and the text with one click with the help of javascript if you like the video please do not forget to like subscribe and share it with your friends meet you in the next video